Okay, so this is the Alfa Romeo car we're in today. And as you can see here, it's, um, it's automatic, but also it can be a manual as well by operating these levers here as you're going along to change gear. And as you can see as well, um, it's got the horn, it's got um, inbuilt sat nav and everything else in there. And it's a very nice car. Now, I'm just going to give you a demo of the horn. <laughs> right, so here we are again in the Alfa Romeo, and as you can see, it's a nice luxury car, <laughs> and there's plenty of room here as well. <laughs> and that's so, as you can see, it's automatic, um, but also it is a manual as well if you want to drive manually. And it's got cup holders, um, it's got storage space as well with USB port auxiliary port and some holes there for storing things as well in there um, and it's got nice space in the back <laughs> nice space in the back <laughs> and that's <been> there. <laughs> and it's very comfy ride but as you can see down here you see you've got the two pedals because it is generally automatic but the, the good thing is, you see, with that stick, once you move it to a certain angle, you can change it to a manual car as well, um, which is very, very good. Um, and the steering wheel on there is nice and luxury, good grip on it as well. Now we're going to show you the rest of the car. Now, thank you. Let's go have a look at the rest of the car. <laughs> right. So this bit here is the seat, of course, and the good thing with the seat, you can move it different directions. So that's where you make the seat go up, as you can see. So it's a bit like a dentist chair <laughs> as we're going up. <laughs> and also, you can actually maneuver it different directions as well, which is a good thing with this particular car. Because, and it, and you see, you can actually, just like a dentist. <laughs> as you can see, it's like, oh, yeah, it's spacious. It's spacious. And then of course again, you can manoeuvre, it, it does go all different directions. That's not me though, that's the seat. <laughs> and then of course as well, you can actually manoeuvre it, so it does go like that. Yeah, it's just like doing its chair, I mean it's good to click the button, you can... <laughs> Oops, I can get quite a way forward then. Eh? <laughs> I think I want to be driving like that though, but anyway, you can put the seat forward as much as that, sort of thing. So now I'm just going to show you, it's got some inbuilt lights in here as well. They're not very bright lights though, at the minute. So you've got the lights there, um, but these ones aren't as bright as the other, as the other car. Um, as you can see it, oh, what's up in there? It's got <laughs> not very bright, but anyway, yeah. Um, and then you've got two lights there, and also the way you've got this fold out um, table as well, which is quite handy so you can have your drinks in there, your food on there as well. Um, so it's quite a good little table, um, and um, and also I mean it's handy as well if you're going for long travel distance you can put your drinks in there, um, and down here as well you've got some USB ports in the back there, down the bottom there, right in the middle there, so you can charge your phone up on the go as well, um, and um, there's been more lights here, obviously you've got the handles here as well, um, which you can hold on to, <laughs> um, but um, I mean, it's funny, there's not many lights in this one though, because some of the cars have been in. We've had lights all down here as well. Um, but this particular car, then you've got the two lights there, and two lights at the front, which are situated up there. Um, so, about four lights in total. Now, we're going to just show you the boot of the car um, and have a look at, I'll show you how much space we have in the back. <laughs> Thanks for watching, anyway. So, this is the, the back of the car, the Alfa Romeo.
and in the back here it's got quite a lot of storage in this car as well. So this is quite as big as the other car that we looked at before and as you can see it's got storage in here and also obviously normally you keep the spare tyre onto here and things like that and you've got some tools in there um, so obviously that's like a tools box in there and you've got storage in that bit in there storage in that bit um, and it, um, so plenty of space in there and of course you can actually sit in the boot because it is that spacious <laughs> in this car um, literally you can sit in the car and you've got all that space and again you've got storage there and then up here you've got some other parts there um, and that is well of course if you want to move the whole seat of course you can press them buttons to maneuver the whole seat that way of course if, if you put the seat down you're going to have all that space there to get loads of shopping in and things like that so it, it's quite a spacious car um, today of course it's raining um, and uh, but it's all raining over here. <laughs> but, uh, um, thanks for watching the video anyway, and uh, we will be showing you some more cars soon, so stay tuned. In well, about a week's time, we're going to go and look at another type of car, which we'll be showing you soon. And it'll be a surprise car as well, because we're going to try and show you around some of the most luxurious cars we find. <laughs> thanks so much, hey. Goodbye. <laughs> and nice one. So this is the front of the car, anyway. so as you can see um, it's a nice size car and also a good thing about this car, it's good for off-roading as well so you can go for off-road um, across the sort of the lawn and it, and it won't get stuck in the mud like on the past. <laughs> and, um, and these lights are nice they, as well. And also um, these lights are very bright compared to the top of the car as well. Um, and it's got a nice bumper going around there. Hey, it's a very nice car. <laughs>